Hi, this is Sue Jackson of the Book by Book blog, and I'm here with another Friday Reads. I am, of course, fully immersed in the Big Book Summer Challenge. This is the annual challenge that I host every summer. It is in its 11th year, and the idea is simple. A big book is simply any book with 400 or more pages in the print edition. All books count, all types, all genres, anything that's 400 or more pages, and you set your own goals. So your goal might be to simply read one big book during the summer from the end of May to early September, um, or two or three or however many you want. It's completely up to you. It's very flexible. It's meant to be easygoing like summer. Everyone is welcome to participate even if it's winter and not summer where you live. And I hope you'll join the fun. So I am, no surprise, still in the midst of my biggest big book from my own stack of big books for the summer. And that is Voyager by Diana Gabaldon. This is book three in the Outlander series. Um, I have actually had this for a couple of years. I very much enjoyed books one and two read for previous Big Book Summers. These are, are perfect for this challenge. This one is almost 900 pages, and so I've, I've kind of been putting it off. Um, it was in my stack for Big Book Summer 2022, but I'm so glad I finally got to it because as soon as I started it, I was just fully immersed in this world again. Um, the basic idea in the series, beginning with book one, Outlander, is that a woman named Claire in 1945 goes back in time and finds herself in 1700s Scotland. So, um, so it is time travel, but for the most part, this is historical fiction. Um, there's also a love story at the center of it. That's no uh, spoiler. Claire meets Jamie back in the 1700s and they have an epic love story um, crossing centuries. But for the most part, these books are just fascinating historical fiction filled with all kinds of amazing details about history, like our known history about the details of daily life at the time. Book one takes place in Scotland. Book two takes place in part in France when Louis XIV was king. In book three, as you can tell by the title, there's a, a voyage involved, um, more than one actually. So it takes place in Scotland, um, a little bit in France, and the part I'm at now, they are currently on a voyage across the Atlantic. So um, don't wanna give away any spoilers in case you haven't started the series yet or haven't gotten to this book yet, but highly recommended. These are great books. Just the way she writes just completely immerses you in the time period, but also these are amazing characters that you you just come to love and you're rooting for. Um, so very much enjoying Voyager by Diana Gabaldon. As you can see, I'm making progress. Um, I am more than halfway through. I also like to listen to big books on audio during Big Book Summer. And my current listen is The Strangers, which is book one in the Greystone Secrets series by Margaret Peterson Haddix. She is one of my favorite middle grade authors, and this book is already just great. It is a middle grade book. It's about a set of siblings. There is Chess, um, who's in sixth grade, so I guess that means about 12, Emma, who is two years younger, and Finn, who is just in second grade. The three siblings come home from school one day. Um, they live with their mom. Their father died a long time ago. And they see their mom watching the news. And the news that she's watching is stunning. 
because they're reporting that three siblings in Arizona, a long ways away, have been kidnapped and that their names are Chess, Emma, and Finn. They list the kids' ages and birth dates, and they are exactly the same as this Chess, Emma, and Finn. So right away, as is typical in a Margaret Peterson Haddix, there is something strange going on. Um, immediately after that, their mom leaves on a business trip, which is odd for several reasons. Um, it came up suddenly. She hadn't told them about it before. And she works as a freelance graphic designer. And since she's the sole caretaker for the kids, their mom does not go on business trips very often. So they don't know what's going on. And then things get really weird. <laughs> <laughs> no spoilers. Um, I am already loving this book. It is um, How to Explain Margaret Peterson Haddocks. Her books very often have some element of science fiction or fantasy or just plain weirdness. So I have no idea where this is going. The kids are staying with, um, while their mom is gone, they're staying with another family, um, another single mother who has a daughter named Natalie, who's two years older than Chess. And the four kids together are starting to kind of dig into whatever mysteries are behind all of this strangeness. So I am very much enjoying the Strangers by Margaret Peterson Haddix. That's book one in the Greystone Secrets middle grade series. So that's what I'm reading and listening to this week during Big Book Summer. I would love to hear what you are reading right now. Let me know in the comments down below.